What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I have got a wild video for us to watch. Um, this is a video that came out of San Francisco. This is a female officer who actually got attacked by a male while she was trying to uh, detain him, arrest him, pat him down. Um, and he turned around and he attacked her. So this came out of San Francisco's Chinatown. It looked like it happened on June 3rd, 2021. Um, apparently people called in that there was a male and he was threatening other people in the area and he was giving threats out to people. And so this officer arrived at about 6.45 p.m. on that Friday. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the video surveillance footage. This is from, it looks like the building or maybe the street sign or something right here where this incident happened. Um, if you wanna watch the video, all these links that I'm reading from, they're gonna be linked down below. Hindsight's 2020, so we're not gonna crap on the officer at all. We're here to learn from actions and we're here to learn from mistakes. We've all made both of those and everybody can learn from them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down this video and we're gonna talk about what we could have done a little bit different, what we learn, that way we get put in this situation, we can learn from it. First things first, let it play for a second. Stop right there. Up. I'm gonna stop. Up. Turn around. All right, so first right here, you can see all of this stuff up here in the corner. Um, I just wanna say, that might be a transient person. That might be a homeless person that's out there. Um, he's probably yelling at people walking by, so he could either be on drugs, um, not in the right mindset or it could have a mental health issue. We do know that it's a very high percentage of transients and homeless people in America that have mental health issues. Um, so we can come into this looking at that from now as well. I don't have nothing. Turn around, all the way around. <clears throat> Get the top of your head. Do you have any weapons on the shirt? I don't have no weapons. No, no weapons. Right. I don't have no and you can you can hear by the way he's talking. She says, "Do you have any weapons on you?" He's like, "No weapons. I have no weapons. No weapons on me." And she told him, and he threw the cigarette down. He turns around to start to talk to her. She is very close to the subject right now. She's the only one there. I don't know if she knows this person. I don't know if she's dealt with this person before. But she got very close to him, and she doesn't look like she's ready. She doesn't have her cuffs out. She doesn't have control of the situation. So you have to have control before you can do anything. Um, she told him to put his hands on the top of the head. He's, he got him down. He's not listening to her. He keeps turning around. She tells him, turn around. She doesn't have her gloves on. She's putting her gloves on. And people read that. Um, people can tell what you're doing. Uh, people know when there's a rookie. People know when there's a veteran. If you're not ready when you get there, the people are going to realize that. They're going to know it. And if they are planning on attacking, they're not in their right mental state, they're going to go for it. You have to be ready. You have to be prepared. I think she kind of walked up nonchalantly. She got too close behind him. She didn't have her gloves on. Um, she used, she had the shotgun, and he was like, oh, I don't want a shot with that. So I don't know if they have tasers or if maybe they just have the less than lethal. That's a less than lethal shotgun, so it shoots the beanbag rounds. Uh, and right now is whenever he turns around, he sees that her hands are still occupied. She She's by herself, and he just goes and starts to attack her. <clears throat> so it looks like she's trying to get to her radio. He punches her, and he throws her to the ground. There, she gets the radio out, so she gets the call out. Um, I don't know what their code is when they put it out, but for me um, and the department that I worked at before, the department that I have now is code six. If you scream code six, that means, hey, get your ass here now. Um, I, I need help. Um, right here, this is a very, very bad situation to be put in. You're down. Um, he's on top. He's on top of the hips. He has ground control right now. Uh, as you can see, she kind of lifts her hips. Perfect. She's lifting her hips and trying to throw him off. Uh, that's what you learn. You want to get him off of you. But he hooks his leg under her thigh, so he's he's trying to keep it. He's covering her mouth. He's grabbing her by the neck. He's choking her. He's doing all of this. Right now, uh, in these situations, uh, something you can do right now is try to break their arms free. Uh, go between their arms, break it out, and then hug them. Bring them close. Uh, you want to hold them, lock tight. She knows the cavalry's coming. She got out on the radio and said something. Even if they're not, hold that person. Hold them tight. You're, you're going to win the fight. But striking and doing all that is not really going to win right now. What you have to do, this guy's way bigger than you are. He's on top of you. He has ground control. Hold him close. Pull him in tight. Let him wear himself out. 
you have to hold him, let him flex, let him push, pull himself out. He's going to wear himself out, and then you're going to have the advantage. Um, but this is still just an awful situation right here. Luckily, this bystander came up, but he's got her by the hair. He's punching her. She's trying to get out right here. The gentleman's like, hey, I don't know what that guy has in his hand, in his left hand. I'm going to tell you right now, if you see an officer and you're a civilian or if you're out walking around and they're in this, kick that freaking dude in the head. Kick him. Get him off choke him get behind him get on his back pull him off don't just grab him and yank and pull the officer will thank you the officer will recognize in a split second that you're not trying to hurt them uh, that you're actually trying to help kick him punch him in the head do whatever you're not going to get in trouble because you're helping that officer you have to save that officer as well she knows Calvary's coming so the good thing is they pull him and she gets she gets over on him right here there's more people they're still pulling him she has top control now. She got him rolled over. This is a good position. She is still inside of his legs. The better position is to be on top of his legs, but she still has control over him. Um, at this point in time, she can push away. She can push away from him. She can kind of get back, kind of, she just got punched in the head. She got choked, everything like that. She can kind of gather herself for a second or two and get back in the fight. Right now, keep him away from your gun. Try to keep him down. You can hear the sirens coming. And even whenever you're on top right here, look, you can see over here her hands. She has them on his head, forcing his head down into the concrete, blocking his eyes. He can't see. This, you just you just hold him down. You're still trying to wear him out, push him down, hold him down. You know sirens are coming. You know other people are going to get there very fast. Wear him out. Get him tired. These civilians are still trying to help, and they're still holding him down. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so this guy right here starts punching him in the head and kicks him because the guy's probably still pulling the officer's hair, pulling at her vest. We have a lot of stuff on us that can be grabbed and yanked around and manipulated and thrown around. Um, this guy starts kicking and punching him in the head. <clears throat> you got to do what you got to do. But good thing is she's on top. She has control. Look, so this guy put his shoe on his head and is holding him down. So right here, I don't know what she was reaching for right there. Uh, baton, mace, I'm not sure. Right now she's trying to roll him over. This is So right now this is very hard because... This is, a, this is a move that you use when you're on top of somebody. If you're on top of their hips and you have your legs around, you grab their arm, put it here, and what you can do is you can twist it around, it, and it will force themselves to spin, and then you can twist them over and you can handcuff them. They're trying to spin them over, but she's still inside of his legs, so his legs hooked on her. Um, but you got to do what you got to do in this situation. Okay, he's screaming he's okay. He gives up. Other officers come, they pin him down by his head, hold him down. He's screaming he's okay. He's still fighting, still resisting. And that officer's not getting off yet. She's like, no, hold up. Okay, so she just kicked her leg around so they can try to get this person on his belly. Calvary came for this officer. Was that one, two, one, two, three, four, five? All right, so they're telling her to get up. Look at her hair. Her hair is all down and everywhere. She is wore out. All right, so that, when did the other officers arrive? So what we can do is from when the fight started, the fight started at, two, let's say 24 seconds. Look at that. The second, or the first civilian did not show up until about 36 seconds. That was probably the longest time in her life right there. And then officers didn't show up until I'm okay. I'm okay. it was, let's say, 1.30. Oh, first one arrived, 1.26. Like I said, we're just here to learn from this. Um, she survived. Uh, luckily, there were bystanders there that kind of helped her out and kind of helped her pull the guy over to the side. I'm not saying if the officers barely struggling to go up and kick the dude in the head but if the guy is on top of the officer actively hitting her head against the ground pulling her hair choking her or him putting you know cover in the mouth help her help him 
uh, kick that kick that guy, get him off. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So as always, we're not here to crap on the officer. I think that this possibly could have been avoided or possibly delayed until a partner got there. Um, she approached him kind of close. She got a little close to him nonchalantly. She could see the guy wasn't already listening to commands or doing what she told him to do. And you could kind of tell that he possibly had a mental problem or was high on drugs. And she did not have control of it before she went in to pat him down and she went to get her gloves on. But hindsight's 2020. We're not here to crap on people. We're here to learn from actions and from mistakes. So let me know down in the comments what you think, what your ideas are. And as always, guys, just have a great, fantastic rest of your day.